you have to remember that, that these vaccines prevent death. They do not necessarily prevent infection. And so it is possible that you could be in a group with a bunch of vaccinated people and some of them are still infected, but they're not going to be sick, they're not going to die, and they can still transmit the infection. If you get the infection, you still go through all the, the risks that are involved in, in, in getting COVID. Um, those risks in terms of, of death are, are low. Um, they're certainly very low in children, um, and they're low uh, in, in, in most people in their middle ages, but as people get in, into their late 70s, um, the death rate increases. So I would say if you're below 60, your chance of getting something really awful by getting COVID is not very high. Um, your chance of getting long-term sort of uh, problems related to COVID infection, and, and these can be, you know, um, uh, psychotic episodes, these can be uh, chronic fatigue, these can be muscle aches, these can be lung problems, um, are, are all there and they're prevented by the vaccine. Now the chance of you getting them is low. Now. I'm an infectious disease doctor, so last weekend I saw a 32-year-old on a ventilator who was absolutely healthy. Um, so although the, the chance of that happening is really less than 1% to somebody who's 30, it does happen. But with the vaccine, the chance of that happening falls to such an incredibly low risk that it makes the vaccine valuable for everyone.